Okay, please be seated. Good, it says morning, but I think it's good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rick Hopper, and I currently serve as the interim president of Greenfield Community College. It's a pleasure to see so many smiles out there today on the happiest day of the year. To the GCC alumni, trustees, faculty, staff, family members, friends, honored guests, and most especially to our graduates, welcome to Green the Greenfield Community College commencement for the class of 2022. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the college's 59th commencement exercise. Today marks the completion of study for 234 students. We hold this ceremony to honor their achievements. To begin, let me introduce my colleagues up here on the platform with me today. First, Chair of the GCC Board of Trustees, Hector Toledo. Trustee, Judith Roberts. Trustee, Claire Higgins. Trustee and alumnus, Robbie Cohn. Chief Learning Officer, Mary Ellen Feidenkevitz, Associate Registrar, Nathan Hammond, and GCC Student Trustee, Evan LeBeau. I would like to thank faculty speaker, Professor Kimberly Morin, student speaker, Julia Stanke, student marshals for the class of 2022, Maggie Brisboy and Clara Fritz, and a special thanks to all the faculty, staff, and volunteers that, uh, volunteers that have made, it, made today's event possible. And to the class of 2022, congratulations. So those of us lucky enough to be here today have just survived more than two years of a global pandemic of COVID-19. My heart goes out to all those in our community who have been directly affected. Some have seen the loss of life, the loss of livelihood, the loss of family cohesion, and the rapid evaporation of social connections and celebrations such as weddings and birthdays. While everyone here has been challenged by the various waves of the pandemic, Alpha, Delta, Omicron, BA2, some among you have felt a disproportionate impact. I'm grateful for the Greenfield community members for their patience and kindness over the past year. Your warmth and compassion have helped us to better cope with the hardships we continue to endure. Phi Theta Kappa, the Community College National Honor Society, has a tradition called Pass the Kindness. I ask each of you to continue that tradition and pass the kindness in any way you can after such a difficult year. Let's be clear, we're living a moment in history I know this has not been easy for many of you who have had to deal with your own life challenges at the same time, whether by being laid off from work, having to homeschool your children, caring for elderly family members, adjusting to online learning, or simply coping with the anxiety surrounding life in a pandemic. Some of you have had too much togetherness in your personal pods. Others of you have not had enough interpersonal connection. We are living a moment in history, but it has given us a chance to see much goodness. Let's consider how lucky we are to be part of GCC at this time. Some of you started the tradition in the traditional learning environment at GCC, with busy hallways, lots of campus activity, internships, and community engagement. You were forced overnight in March of 2020 to move to remote learning, disrupting comfortable practices and a cozy social life. Others of you actually started your academic programs at the height of the pandemic, foregoing most or all of your in-person learning. You nevertheless persevered and discovered new ways of acquiring knowledge and skill. All of you refused to let such disruptions de derail your progress. You are the product of perseverance, determination, grit, stamina, and drive. Over the past year, the GCC faculty have continued to make tremendous adaptations in how they teach, being increasingly sensitized to the unique learning style of each individual student. The education delivered also required the support of the IT department and the library staff to ensure that everyone had connectivity and access to materials. We then had sub-zero temperatures this winter and experienced two burst pipes and flooding in the main building, 
the facilities and security staff moved into overdrive to ensure continuity of services for your education. Many staff were displaced to temporary space, but none of the academic operation was delayed. Financial aid was packaged, the GCC Foundation distributed scholarships, and the cafeteria stayed open. The facility staff made sure that the buildings and classrooms were appropriately rehabilitated, and maintainers had kept their spaces properly sanitized. The offices of admission, student financial services, and advising center continued to register students for courses and continued to admit new students for the fall semester. Peer tutoring continued unabated. Student activities were in frequency, especially this spring with warmer weather and the opening of our newly renovated courtyard. I am immensely grateful to the faculty and staff who continue to make the student experience as smooth as possible. In this moment in history, the GCC community stepped up. All of this was done not because we were asked to take these actions, but because they care. This pandemic has shown our community to be full of selfless and empathic people. This moment in history has presented us with some big institutional challenges, such, such as how we address hands-on learning, particularly in lab sciences, health professionals, workforce training in the technical trades, and outdoor leadership. Each week we share stories of GCC's student flexibility, ingenuity, in adapting to new ways of learning and assessment. During this moment in history, many of you have taken the time to write words of support to me and to other members of the GCC team. Your expressions of hope, gratitude, and encouragement reminded us how caring, tight-knit, and extraordinary the GCC community is and will always be. Today's graduates are entering this moment in history with credentials that make them better equipped to revive the economy, care for the sick, and build a new world. Your accomplishments at GCC have helped you to develop specialized skill and insights that will move us all forward. Your graduation at this moment in history offers us hopefulness. You will be better able to help our society heal by turning your fragility, our fragility and uncertainty into progress. The 2022 graduating class of GCC, in the words of psychiatrist George Valent, will remember the future so that we can make it through the present and find ourselves stronger and ready to invest in the days to come. This moment in history did not diminish you. It has given you enhanced perspective, strength, and the composure to face more and do more than you ever dreamed possible. This moment in history is expanding your own empathy and understanding. It is clarifying what inspires you, and we will reconnect you powerfully to the people who matter most. And today, graduates, you matter most. To the great class of 2022, we are very proud of each of you. Thank you for giving us a brighter future. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remain kind to each other. I now get to introduce the faculty speaker, originally Kimberly Morin. Originally from Texas, and after serving four years in the Navy while earning a bachelor's degree from the Pan American University, Kimberly Morin began teaching as an adjunct acting instructor at Greenfield Community College in 1994. This turned into a full-time position as she worked to broaden the theater classes and create a liberal arts major for theater. Kimberly developed courses and provided a show every semester at Greenfield Community College for 23 years. While raising three children and traveling back and forth to Endicott College on the North Shore for her master's degree, Kimberly moved from teaching theater to teaching and creating communication courses. Kimberly is known to have said, quote, communications can have my brain, but theater will always be where my heart is. Some of you have had the pleasure of meeting one of Kimberly's parrots that she, on occasion, brings to class. And you may or may not know that she raised a baby bird two years ago that was stranded, and it comes back to visit her regularly. Kimberly, may the goodness you've put out in the world come back to you. Please join me as I welcome Kimberly Morin, professor of Greenfield Community College, to the podium as the class of 2022 faculty speaker. Kimberly? President Hopper, to our distinguished platform guests, to our GCC faculty and staff, graduates, and all of our honored guests. Graduation, it's finally here for you. 
Retirement, it's finally here for me. <laughs> Big eyebrow. <laughs> I think I would rather be in my place than in yours. But I say that in some ways, I would love to be in your place because I know that all of you have some extremely exciting journeys ahead of you. After graduating today, each of you will have a blank slate, more or less, that is, that is titled with the words, my life. Closing one door and opening another can be very neg negative or a very positive experience. It all depends on your perspective. I have always told the public speaking classes, get out of your own way so that you can do what you need to do. Find your voice. They did. They called out to verify their experiences, and you answered. You expressed your ideas and opinions and found that they were met with respect and with interest, sometimes accolades from your peers. You truly learned the importance of your, your voice carries no matter what the circumstances. I have heard some people scoff at the prospect of your generation taking charge, questioning your abilities to take on issues that are so widespread, both locally and globally. I, however, have worked with most of you and many of your peers for many years, and I know that that concern is completely unfounded. You are going to do fine. The Pew Research Center says that Generation Z is diverse and on track to be the most well-educated generation yet moving towards adulthood with a liberal set of attitudes and an openness to emerging social trends. Not just Z, but every generation born to the baby boomers. Each one is quite unique, and each one has its negative and its positive qualities. My generation, well, we had the hippies, those awful flower power people. <laughs> they had hair down to there and wanted nothing but drugs, sex, and rock and roll, right? Yeah. Well, some of them, never did get up, never grow up. Some of them never did get out. Some preferred to remain in a psychedelic fantasy world rather than confront themselves and their own futures. Like them, some in your generation will stay back too, living in a world of video games and social media, living lives of their own construction in a world that exists in their imagination without the joys of real human interactions. You are not those people. You have discovered your own voices, and you are ready to move on. Communication competence, mm -hmm, remember that term? The ability to exercise the proper communication for a given audience and situation, it's not learned. Or it is learned. It does not come naturally. It has to be practiced, and it has to be learned. You're not born with this skill. I know from your journals, your form communications, your responses to assignments, and watching you practice your voice through presentations that you have learned how to speak up. You may have surprised yourself with your own learning abilities. But remember, there is no learning, there is no change without competent communication. Enrolling at GCC was obviously your response to a big question mark that popped up in your life. You didn't necessarily know where you were headed or just how you were going to get there, but you did it. You are here. You did it and you got through it. You figured it out on your own. Well, with some support from your friends and family and a little help from the GCC community, your advisors, your dedicated instructors, even at times those ever-present administrative folks. You did it. You figured it out. You have knowledge now. Some of it is old knowledge and some of it is new knowledge. But what you have now, you will use as a telescope for observing, analyzing, and understanding the world around you. Go into that world knowing that you are prepared Prepared for what? I don't know. <laughs> Neither do you in most cases. But I do know that every piece of knowledge you now have will be used at one point in your life, one point or another. My whole per personal and professional life has revolved around change and learning. That question mark just kept popping up again and again and again. And each time I entered the unknown, I made it my familiar quickly, using skills that seemingly came from nowhere exercising knowledge that had been ignored and gotten dusty. The only way you can successfully travel through those question marks in life is to gather your forces together, be confident, and make your presence known. Let your voice be heard. If it is to support what is right, let your voice be heard. If it is to right a wrong, let your voice be heard. If it is to acknowledge your own accomplishment, 
accomplishments. Let your voices be heard. I get excited about your accomplishments and what you're going to do. You are facing radical and ethnic divides that must be, must be closed, social intolerance that must be stopped. You have some very serious constitutional questions about guns and abortion rights that must be examined through the lens of today's society. You have global warming and other important ecosystems that you have to grapple with. You have wars that are being fought out of ignorance and intolerance and stupidity that must be stopped. Those are your jobs. Your generation has the knowledge and the drive to begin abolishing these things from our societies worldwide. But all repair must begin with a voice. It could be your voice, or your voice, or it could be all of your voices. It's all about communication in the end. Nothing changes until we learn to speak out as well as listen to others. And remember, a good listener will always become a better speaker. So as you go out to begin writing all manner of fantastical things upon your blank slate, keep in mind your responsibilities to yourself and to your local community and your global community. You need to grab the world by the tail and give it a good shake. And graduates, one last thing. Never forget to blow your own horn. Be proud of your accomplishments. I would like to hear your voice. I would like to hear all of your voices together. Now, you're going to do this nice and loud, so we only have to do it once, right? I'm going to have you stand up, turn to the person next to you and introduce yourself, and then I want you to loudly and proudly declare that you are a GCC graduate. Oh. <laughs> nice work, people. Nice job. Well done. I thank you. That is a wonderful memory for me to walk away with. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Professor Morin. Your more than 28 years of service have impacted the lives of many students here. Your dedication to Greenfield Community College is immeasurable. As you move into retirement, your contributions are forever a part of our institution. It's now my pleasure to introduce your student representative to the Greenfield Community College Board of Trustees, Evan LeBeau. Greetings, class of 2022. My name is Evan LeBeau, and I've had the great privilege of being your student trustee this year. And right now, I have a very big privilege to introduce a dear friend of mine. When I first joined the Student Senate two years ago, I met so many amazing people that immediately became some of my closest friends. Julia is one of these people that from the very first time I met her, I knew that she would always be there to help and always be there to give a guiding hand. Julia is a gender and women's studies major heading to Smith College in the fall with a full scholarship. <laughs> she came back to GCC at the age of 29 and after uh, a couple different attempts were here today, and after having spent time traveling the world, becoming a mother, serving as a student senator, student trustee, peer tutor, library student worker, I think every other possible student position on campus, <laughs> Julia is here with us now. Please welcome to the stage your 2022 student commencement speaker, Julia Sankey. It's my pleasure to share the stage this afternoon with Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Hector Toledo, 
trustees Robbie Cohn, Claire Higgins, and Judith Roberts, Chief Learning Officer Mary Ellen feiden kevitz Kimberly Morin, Professor of Communication, and a tough act to follow, Nathan Hammond, Associate Registrar, Evan LeBeau, Student Trustee. I also want to honor our student marshals, Maggie Brisboy and Clara Fritz. Thank you, class of 2022, for the honor of being your commencement speaker. It's my joy today to welcome students, families, faculty, and staff to GCC's 59th annual graduation ceremony. And thank you, Evan, for that introduction. But I feel like there's one more introduction that needs to be done before I can begin. With me today is my daughter, Rosemary. <laughs> You want to wave to everyone? <laughs> she knows how nervous I get about public speaking, so she very kindly offered to join me today to help me out. <laughs> and at first I thought, that's very sweet, but there's no way I'm going to give a commencement speech with my five-year-old. And then I remembered that I am, in fact, quite terrified of public speaking, so I decided to take her up on her offer. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I learned in Professor Lillian Ruiz's public speaking class that a helpful stress reduction technique when giving a speech is to hold on to something meaningful and comforting. She probably meant something smaller, but it does do the trick. <laughs> and you know, I also remember the countless virtual classes, meetings, and tutoring sessions in which this sweet girl played quietly and patiently beside me waiting for her mama to be done with her schoolwork because the pandemic meant we lost all childcare. So it only seemed fitting that she would join me here today, and I'm certain every one of you graduating today can relate. Many of us started our journeys into higher education in the midst of uncertainty, and for many of us, our plans for our education were derailed or shifted significantly. But we're all here today as overcomers, so because you've persevered through all the challenges of the last couple of years, give yourselves a round of applause. It was about three years ago when I first set foot on this campus for a tour when I considered enrolling. And I brought Rosemary with me then too and carried her around on my hip as we walked through the maze of stairways that is our main campus building. <laughs> she was a lot lighter then. I was a young mom in a difficult marriage looking for a way to move forward, a way in which I could provide for my daughter as a single mom. But you see, I had tried and failed at college more times than anyone I knew. I dropped out of four different schools on five different occasions before becoming a mom. And like many people in this country, I had student loan debt, but no degree, and no job that would pay me even enough to cover the cost of childcare. I was trapped. I knew I needed to go back to school because I saw education as my escape, my path to freedom. But it was a very scary path for me. I didn't think I could succeed. I didn't think I could make it work. I didn't think I could graduate. I'd failed so many times, and, ev and my self-efficacy had taken a real beating with each of those failures. So when I first arrived on campus, well, for one, I definitely didn't think I'd be giving this speech one day, and I also didn't think there was anything particularly special about me. A whole host of forces conspired to make it possible for me to enroll here at GCC. Like many of you, I qualified for Pell Grants, I found a small home-based preschool for my daughter that I could barely afford, and I put the rest of my tuition on my credit card. Additionally, my wonderfully supportive parents contributed to childcare a couple days a week so that I could come to campus and get my work done. I enrolled full-time back in September 2019, and I remember sitting in my first class, Professor Scott Herstad's English 101. I swear to you, I was the only student in that class who wasn't still in high school. I felt 100 years old. It was an intimidating experience. But it turns out, if you're 100 years old, or even just 30, you have a lot of meaningful life experience to draw from. And as I started to write about my experiences in that English class, and in Professor Linda McCarthy's Sociology 101 class, a shift started to take place. I started to see that my path, the scenic route through higher education, wasn't actually a hindrance, but an asset. And I started to see that being a mom wasn't going to hold me back. It was going to be the fuel that I needed to keep going. 
Many of us arrived here at GCC with a damaged sense of self. <laughs> Maybe high school wasn't so kind to us. Maybe we were laid off in a previous career and needed a fresh start. Maybe we had a lot of personal problems competing for our attention. But there's something incredibly special about this community, something that turns struggling students into successful graduates despite the challenges we face, both personal and global. I see it when students seek solace at the wellness center or pick up a to-go bag of groceries from the food pantry. I see it in the staff of the peer tutoring department who work constantly to see students receive the individualized help they deserve. I see it every time the library loans technology to students without computers or Wi-Fi. I see it in the Women's Resource Center whose staff is searching for students who have material needs to be met. I see it in Mary McEntee's innovative work to bring us together through student activities events, always making sure we are stuffed with delicious free food. <laughs> and I see it daily in the classrooms of so many professors who are fully committed to the holistic well-being and personal development of their students, who don't see teaching at a community college as their stepping stone to someplace else, but who devote themselves here to so many unseen hours making GCC a more equitable and accessible learning environment. It's that something that helps each of us realize that we do in fact bring something significant to the table. We've all found ourselves quite fortunate to be part of this learning community. It took a ton of hard work on each of our parts to arrive at this destination. So I urge you to reflect on all that you've accomplished here at GCC. Take stock of all that you've acquired here and all the challenges you've overcome. You have so much to be proud of. But here's what I hope you remember. Here's what I really believe. When we work wholeheartedly toward our goals, when we pursue the things that scare us the most, like speaking in front of large crowds, when we commit ourselves fully to our dreams, we can succeed, but, but that work, that pursuit, need not be a solo mission. In fact, it's significantly more enjoyable when we lean on the support of others. So yes, everyone graduating today has overcome significant challenges to reach this milestone, and for that, we should be proud. But let us not simply take stock in our victories and forget to reflect in gratitude on the supporters who helped us get here. I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to publicly thank some of those who supported me, without whom I most definitely would not be here today. Thank you to my parents, Rosemary's generous grandparents, who uprooted their lives several times to provide childcare. Thank you to my advisor, Christine Monahan, and my professors, especially Linda McCarthy and Scott Herstad, who have invested so much in me as a writer and a researcher and who resurrected my sense of self as a student. Thank you to Cindy Snow, my wonderful supervisor, who allowed me so much flexibility and support to continue working through the pandemic. Muchas gracias a Alessandra y Eddie, mi segunda familia. Thank you to my beautiful partner, Isa, whose love is like a lottery I won with a parking ticket. <laughs> and thank you, Rosemary, for being so patient when Mama was busy all the time with school. In a world that increasingly wants to see us fear our neighbor, and despite the systems that profit off of that fear, remember that you too did not succeed alone. And spaces like GCC, spaces that give people second chances or sixth chances in my case, <laughs> are the most valuable spaces in our society. Don't forget. Thank you again for the honor of speaking with you today. Thank you for your warm welcome for this very brave, sweet five-year-old. It's an honor to graduate with you, class of 2022. Thank you, Julia. We give you our best wishes for your onward journey. At this time, I would like to ask Chief Learning Officer Mary Ellen Feidenkevitz to the stage to present the award. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and an early congratulations to the graduates. And I'll be saying that again later as I call your name. So, 
Each year, Greenfield Community College recognizes exceptional and outstanding student work both in and out of the classroom by presenting awards to graduating students at commencement. If your name is called, please come to the stage and receive your award. Oops, I just want to make sure I don't skip a page here, sorry. Uh, you know, in awarding a tool that we can use to earn a living and to build a dream, the Greenfield Community College Art Department faculty are proud to present the Art Department Mattachini Award to Matthew McCorkendale. Congratulations. Congratulations. The business The Business Information Technology Award for Academic Excellence goes to Alexander R. Zimmerman. Congratulations. The Drama Award goes to Yadira Roman Rivera. Rivera, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> I forgot to warn you I might mispronounce names, so I apologize for that. Congratulations. The Early, Chi the Early Childhood Education Award for Excellence in the Care and Education of Young Children goes to Sarah Ray Crowell. Congratulations. The Engineering Science Award goes to Hazel Lou Goldman. Goldman, not attending unfortunately today, but congratulations to Hazel. The first time ever Greenfield Community College student to be awarded the Global Seal of Bioliteracy goes to Carrington Peter Dow. Congratulations. The liberal, the liberal Arts English Award recognizes outstanding academic achievement and is presented to Alana Marie Owen and Rachel Monique Sorrell. Congratulations. The Liberal Arts Social Science Award is presented to Megan Nicole Velez.
Congratulations. The Donald Obrecht Award goes to a graduate who has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and commitment to the study of science. This year's recipient is Ava C. Hicks Mazzello. <laughs> I take it Ava's not attending. Thank you. Congratulations, Ava. The Charles, the Charles Green Award is named for the first assistant to the president of Greenfield Community College. We are honored to recognize a GCC student for their distinct leadership in co-curricular activities. The award goes to the Prometheus Press student newspaper. So I was gonna say, I'm not sure. Thank you, Mary. Congratulations. I'm also honored to get to present the Walter M. Taylor Award to a GCC uh, uh, employee, community member, Samantha Wood, the advisor to the Prometheus Press. Thank you. So it's now my pleasure to welcome Board of Trustees Chair Hector Toledo to the podium to read the statement to confer degrees. Hector. Thank you, Rick. Good afternoon. By the authority vested in me by the Massachusetts Department of Higher Education under Chapter 15A, Sections 8 and 22 of the General Laws of the Commonwealth, I, Hector F. Toledo, Chair of the Board of Trustees of Greenfield Community College, am honored to award the Associates in Arts, Associates in Science degrees, and certificates to those candidates who, in the judgment of the college, have successfully met the requirements for graduation. Congratulations. errors. Oh, because I was like, where'd it go? Okay. All right, we will begin to read the names of the graduates. So um, I want to thank you, T uh, Trustee Toledo, the student marshals will begin bringing up graduates by row, starting with row number one. Please light up on the ramp with your note card in hand and hand the note card to me to read your name and uh, then walk over to President Hopper after your name's called and then you will be handed your diploma. Come on up. So as the graduates are coming up, the first thing I'd like to say is again, as I mentioned earlier, although my name might be Fighting Kevitz, I will work really hard not to uh, mispronounce all of your graduates' names, but I wanna say I feel very privileged to be here today to be able to do this for them. Evan LeBeau, Associates in Arts and Liberal Arts. Go, so Evan. I'd also like to add that although we're very pleased to see Evan here today, we're a little disappointed that he didn't bring Zelda service dog in training with him. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Julia Sturet Steinkig, Associates in Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Alana Amri Owen, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. Robert Charles Califel III, Associates in Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Kristen Marianne Carter, Arts, Associates in Biz, Arts and Business Administration. <laughs> Thank you. Stacy Ward Blackadar, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. Emily Elizabeth Boyton, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Thank you. Jade Ann Linscott, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. Akila Hunt, Associate in Arts and Business Administration. Olivia Pearl Braxton Marshall, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Yeah. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Erica Clark, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Caitlin Minor, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Jasmine L. Farr Markham, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Kira Marie Florence, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Thank you. Nicholas David Warnham, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Justin E. Lippert, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Yep, got it. Okay, thank you. Alexander R. Zimmerman, Associate Arts in Business Administration. Thank you. Keith Sigalino Broussard, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts. Carrington Peter Dow, Associate Arts in Liberal Arts, World Language and Spanish Certificate. Yadira Roman Rivera, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Allison Marie Dembeck, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. Gotcha. Shana Marie Kozlowski, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. Alexander Edwin Davidson Carroll, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Sienna Kells Dylan Schneider, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Melissa May Puritan, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. 
Thank you. Robin Pena, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. Anna R. Haston, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. Rebecca Aiden Patnode, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Thanks for the sense of humor. Tricia L. Beloey, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Amelia W. Pond Clark, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Kristen Henry, Associate in Arts and Liberal Arts. Shasta Abishan Kenefick, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Megan Nicole Velez, Associate Arts and Liberal Arts. <laughs> Keila Marina Row. Marina Rowe Rodriguez, Associate of Art Science in Biology. <laughs> Sarah Ray Kroll, Associate in Science in Early Childhood Education. Kimberly Santiago, Associate in Science in Nursing. Carrie St. Jake's, Associate in Science and Nursing. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Snyder, Associate in Science and Nursing. <laughs> oh, okay, Toby, right? <laughs> okay. Rachel L. Shearer, Associate in Science and Nursing. <laughs> Hunter Alonzo Barron, Associate in Science and Chemistry. W. Armstrong, Associate in Science and Biology. <laughs> Amber Elizabeth Brownlee, Associate in Science in Nursing. Nicole Marie Roberge, Associate, Associate in Science in Nursing. <laughs> Brittany S. Pratt, Associate in Science in Nursing. Tanisha Sheldine Beckford, Associate in Science and Nursing. Alita Desiree Graham, Associate in Science and Nursing. Abigail Gibbevec, Associate in Science and Nursing.
Hannah Field Helliker, Associate in Science and Nursing. Thank you. Anya Johnson, Associate in Science and Nursing. Marianne Elizabeth DuPont, Associate in Science and Nursing. Alexander, Alexandra Taylor Cronk, Associate in Science and Nursing. Fennell? Fennell. Okay. Carter J. Fennell, Associate in Science and Management and Management Certificate. Victoria Jules Dalby, child of Allison Dalby, who works at Greenfield Community College, Associate in Science and Biology. Emily Jane Terrell, Associate in Science and Criminal Justice and Corrections Certificate. Jack Backus, Associate in Science and Fire Science Technology. Peyton Elizabeth Hayward, Associate in Science and Arts and Visual Arts. Yep, thank you. Sephora Ketchikew, Associate in Science and Engineering Science. <laughs> Demesis Diane Diaz, Associate in Science in Nursing. <laughs> Thank you. Evelyn L. Cruz, Associate in Science in Nursing. Triska Tushani Bature, Associate in Science in Nursing. Jeannie Kim Gravelin, Medical Assistant Certificate. Susan Lashier, Medical Assistant Certificate. Abigail M. Drew, Entrepreneurship Certificate. Morgan B. Long, Associate in Science and Biology. Samantha Marie Ward, Associate in Science and Early Childhood Education. Emma S. Reed, Associate in Science and Management and Management Certificate. I dropped my card. My name is Ian Francis Brown, okay. and I'm an Associate in, in, in Science and Engineering. Okay. Ian? Francis Brown. Okay. Ian Francis Brown, Associate in Science and Engineering. Anthony M. O'Brien, Associate in Science and Computer Information Systems and Network Administration Certificate. Anatole R. Fox, Associate in Science and Criminal Justice and Corrections Certificate. Bennett S. 
Gottlieb Outdoor Leadership Certificate. Travis Samuel Weitzman, Outdoor Leadership Certificate. <laughs> Teresa Carrillo, Early Childhood Education Certificate. <laughs> Christina L. Richards, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Sarai Andino Medical Assistant Certificate. Sonia Uvelis Montavo Medical Assistant Certificate. Olivia Anderson Hovey, Medical Assistant Certificate. Thank you. Sherry Lynn Drew, Medical Assistant Certificate. Thank you. Matthew McCorkendale, Visual Arts Certificate. LaFond, Associate in Science and Adventure Education. Are you the last? Oh. <laughs> we get some more people, would you please? Last but certainly not least, Gustavo Rodriguez in Web Development and Design Certificate. Let's make some noise! Yes! Thank you, Chief Learning Officer Fidenkevich. <laughs> Graduates, please stand. <laughs> it's time to move your tassels from right to left. It's official. Congratulations to the Greenfield Community College Class of 2022.